Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. We finally cleared out the Valley of Repose. I spent a little bit of time off camera building up our horde of Pikmin. And now we're finally ready to take on the fourth and final location in the game that's unlocked. Once you complete the 10,000 Poco mark, which we are well in front of. So now we're going to touch down in the Wistful Wild. There are three caves here, which are all incredibly long and hard as well as five above ground treasures. I'm gonna probably do a little bit of above ground overworld stuff today. I don't really have a strict plan on what I'm gonna do. So we'll see how horribly this goes. But welcome back. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. If you enjoy finishing games and getting to the final locations, maybe like the video, comment, and subscribe as we touch down here on what appears to be some sort of a road sign. Maybe it's a triangle, so I'd imagine maybe that's a yield sign. But yeah, welcome to the Wistful Wild. I can safely say, now that we have 100 purple Pikmin, that uh, it's a pain in the butt to get them, but it's worth it because we're about to get the heaviest treasure in the game. It's kind of an insane thing to imagine having 100 purple Pikmin, but here we are. Yeah, welcome to the final, uh, final area in the game. I don't really have any sort of muscle memory for where anything is. So hopefully the treasure radar will serve us well. I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. But you'll definitely want, uh... You'll definitely want a hundred of your purple Pikmin. For the goal of the day. Did that swooping snitch bugs? Oh, he did. You know what? I do not have time for this. If only I had 100 purple Pikmin. Let's see how fast this goes by. Excellent work. Good job, murder and friends. There's one of the caves there. I'm just going to tell you right now. I think I already said this, but I am not going to be doing any more of the caves in one episode at a time. It's just not really physically possible. And I think. I mean, that's mainly due in part to the fact that I want to say, I don't, I do not know where I'm going. Um, I want to say that's mainly due in part to the fact that each of the, um, what was it, Gatling? Oh, I said the name wrong last time. I called it a gloink. It's a groink. Sorry. Um, I don't know who I'm passive aggressively responding to because people have not been harassing me about it. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, the, uh, the final dungeons in this game, the final three of them, which are all kind of compilation dungeons with pretty unique bosses at the end, but they also feature bosses from earlier dungeons. Um, all three of them, as far as I remember, are at least, I want to say, oh man, there's a groink, there is a water thing. These things are a pain in the butt, and I was correct, by the way. They do regenerate health. They're one of the two enemies that does. Those and then the weird bull blacks that have the lips. Lips? But anyway. So each of those final dungeons has at least 10 floors. And I feel like 10 floors is kind of unmanageable for one episode. So each episode will probably have a little bit of overworld like this. Followed by um, the dungeon itself. I don't think I'm going to be doing a dungeon in this episode just because this is the first one. But... What is this? Oh, this is Nectar. I guess you guys can go ahead and get this fired up. Having all of your uh, purples flowered is probably going to help, but realistically speaking, there's not a ton that you can do to prevent how long this is going to take. This is actually the largest slash heaviest item in the game, and this is why you need all 100 purples. So get a good look at that. That's very goofy looking. Does that make you think of anything, viewers? Is there anything that pops into your mind when you see something kind of wiggling around like this? Maybe a dog toy. Maybe a bone. Who knows? But yeah, that's the... Uh, that there's not really a ton that you can do besides that. There is a, a Cromat here, though. But we can <laughs> try to lure out and fight while we're waiting. It's the downside. That does take your entire roster. You don't have the ability to use any other Pikmin unfortunately while you wait thankfully it's not actually i wonder what would happen if i sprayed them does that help can i even spray them or do i have to have them under my control for yeah okay well i guess i didn't play that plan that out too well but i guess while we're waiting here for our pikmin to just take forever 
We'll do a little bit of exploring of this area. This area is, I guess, supposed to be representative of autumn. So each of the four areas is supposed to have an aesthetic of a season of Earth. So this is obviously autumn. The Valley of Repose is pretty surely winter. I would say that the Awakening Wood, that's probably, that might be more of maybe your springtime or maybe summertime because there's the dandelions, the dandelion monsters. And then I think the Perplexing Pool, maybe that's summertime. You know, you want to, during the summer, you want to go out and take a nice dip. So that could be it. But as you saw, there's multiple hazards that are going to be of, uh, of interest. We're probably going to focus more on the right side where the blue Pikmin can help out over here. Wait, is there hidden? Wait, hold on. What is this pointing at? Oh, I think it's probably actually still pinging the, uh, the thousand. Oh my gosh. This is really taking forever. It is the single-handedly, I don't know why I said that, but it is the largest treasure in the, uh, in the entire game, which I find to be really interesting. And, uh, apparently also one of the most boring things to watch in the game because of this, this is taking, and I started late in getting this. This is taking half of a, uh, half a day. So I'm going to do my best to collect, or not collect, well, maybe there is, maybe I'll get another treasure in the meantime, but, um, but yeah, here it is. Here's also the most valuable treasure in the game. The Doomsday Apparatus. Take a look at that. 3,000 Pocos. All right, and that's actually all that we're going to do with the purples right now. So, yeah, have fun harvesting 100 purples just to 100% the game. But thankfully, purples do hop back into the ship a lot faster than some of my other Pikmin. Which is annoying. So we're going to go ahead and grab some blues. We'll head back over the way that we were just a little moment ago, and they can actually enjoy this nectar that the purple so graciously provided for them. I think five nectar should be enough to flower all these Pikmin. And we will lure the craw mat out, hopefully. Come on, buddy. Show me what you got. Are you mad yet? There we go. And then we will attack his bottom. Very aggressively. Oh. Do not let him get back in there. Very cool. And now we will undo this gate. While they're working on that, I think that only, only blues can really do this. So that's a bit of an annoyance, but... Actually, there was the other gate. Well, it was a bridge. There's the Gatling Groink. Those are what those guys are called. I'm gonna grab some more of my... Some more of my blues over here. And then there was a poison... There was a poison spout spewing poo gas next to it. The one downside to doing all this is that these gates and areas that you open up, they don't... They're not sustained. So they don't stay this way forever. I think you might get a day out of it. I'm actually gonna... No. I'm actually gonna send one captain over here because they're almost done. So I'll let El Capitan, El Presidente lead this secondary squad over here. So I briefly kind of popped in over here when I was exploring. I want to say it's up here. Yes. Back here. Alright, so there's a Wally Wall. Gotta be careful with. There is a Gatling Groink, which is trouble. There's actually a lot of hazards over there. Nope. Nope. Did not ask any of you to do that. I'm going to lure you over here so that way you don't do that again. Don't do it again. All right. So with our 30 blues, I actually want to kind of kill the Wallywog first because they are a permanent thorn in my side. And I hate them with every fiber of my being. I don't know if these are the Gatling Groink fire, fire shots that will kill my Pikmin or not. I know that in certain cases, Gatling Groinks will only um, stun your Pikmin. And this looks to be... All right, where are you? Come here. Attack his face. Oh, boy. 
Okay, well, apparently that kills my Pikmin, or those Pikmin. Jeez! Um, okay. Can I convince you to do that to the- whoa. I think building this bridge is actually going to be really cumbersome. Unless I do this. Let's move behind it. Attack it from behind. Of course, we're going to have- we're going to be accosted by the stupid fiery blowhog. In the meantime. Nope. Stop it. Quit. Quit. So we're going to kill that fire blow hug. Should have probably gone for it first. This is just chaos. How are you still on fire in the water? What sense does that make? Alright, so, okay, so you definitely can attack us and kill my Pikmin. Oddly enough, whoa. Alright, this is... This is insanity. All right. That actually seemed to be really worthwhile. If I can have you build this bridge. I don't know what else I intended to do here, but it looks like, ooh, we can drain uh, some water over here. That'd be good. Go ahead and unplug this ground butthole. Oh, I thought I got all my Pikmin flower. Wrong. All right, so. Yeah, this is trouble. Like I told you, it does, uh, I don't know what that opens up, actually. This thing does regenerate health, so I would like to build this bridge as fast as possible and get the heck out of here. I mean, I could carry it back to the, uh, to the onion, but uh, there's not really a ton of, uh, there's not really a big point to do that. All right, here's a fire blow hog. This one's gonna be the only one that causes trouble here. Just launch our Pikmin into outer space, but not enough in time, all right. And we have watery blow hog. Man, those things really have a good, uh, some good trajectory. I don't really need anything out of here. I guess getting that yellow gate's good, but I'm just going to carry all this back. Probably the next day I'm going to bring, I'm going to have my Pikmin tear down that yellow gate. But now that this is drained, you can bring, oh my gosh, are you guys still working on this? Ooh, things are getting kind of hairy. <laughs> Hurry up, Blues. We need to make this a little quicker. This is what I get for only bringing 30, but that's all I had. I don't know if Craw Mad can be carried with five or not. I actually do have the least amount of Blues if my memory serves me right. So it's probably good that I... Oh, I can do it. Just... Just... Oh, I overshot you. All right. So, yeah, this is just kind of the beginnings, the humble beginnings of uh, clearing out the overworld. And then once I'm done with all of this, I will... Probably go for the treasures tomorrow. I said I was going to get the poison gate down, but I don't think I have enough time for that. Especially considering that my white Pikmin are still... Oh boy. Oh, he's back. <laughs> no! How about... I think that the Groinks uh, prefer to go for captains, if I remember correctly. So... Looks like our blues are making it back to base. I will distract... Oh, excuse you. I will distract it. There we go. And then we will just run away. You can clean all this up. Might as well. Build out all of our Pikmin while we're here. And then we're just going to head back to base. Did I grab all of it? Nope. I immediately whistled away everything. So the whites will help us. There's a cave down there that we will be tackling. I don't know what's the best order of operations for all of these, but I will be doing them eventually. All right, so we got white Pikmin. Might as well have everybody work together to apparently make every blue Pikmin in existence. We're going to have a ton of these now. I said I had the least amount of blues, and now I will have the most amount of blues. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not too fussed about it. Yeah, we got the biggest treasure. We opened up a little bit of the world today. And then uh, in the next episode, we will be... Is that everybody? Yes. How many blues do I have now? Oh, I have 180 blues. So I have way more blues than everybody else now. Or 80 blues. 160? I think that's good math. Yes. So first day of exploration. So far, so good, considering I did not have a plan, but... I will come back tomorrow and we will gather oodles of treasures. Yeah, I mean, that's a good amount of everything. Not too fussed about it. We can just go ahead and end the day. We're also going to 
get rid of those uh, ground ball sacks and open up our berries. I mean, we got more Pocos today than in any previous day all at once, just from one treasure. So not too upset. That's a successful day. We're going to clear out a lot more of the above ground stuff to tomorrow. Well, the next episode in the game. And the Groink is still trying to attack us with the Cannon Beetle. You'd think that they'd want to take off a little bit faster. Okay, so there you go. Another successful day. First appearance of the Wistful Wild. These episodes, like I said, above ground are going to be shorter because the in-game time is only like 15 to 20 minutes. So the next couple episodes will probably be of similar fashion. But there you go. The Doomsday Apparatus will definitely really slow you down. Okay, I think this is uh, Olimar's daughter. She's going to prep school. She wants to become a proper lady. All right. Well, I don't know if writing a letter makes you a proper lady, but I'm sure you're doing just fine. We're not going to save, but we will continue. All right. So that's that, everybody. That was the first foray into the Wistful Wild. Tomorrow, we're going to do some more above ground stuff. Maybe we'll gather the remaining treasures. I don't know if that's possible in one day, but if it is, I will do it. And then we can start to really crack into those dungeons. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 2. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.